Hi guys, it's Micah. Today I'm back with a quick and easy Halloween card with bats. And for the bats, I use these really cheap dice. I think they were a dollar, uh, one euro or less, seventy-seven seven, something like that. And um, this is my only Halloween set I have. And there's nothing that goes except happy haunting, so I just omitted the sentiment. But you can put on anything that you want and use any dice that you have. These are from Action, by the way, if you can still find them. And I have this mask of a moon uh, that I die cut from Inca Dinka Do Masking Paper. And now I'm using Distress Oxides, a blueprint sketch, and wilted violet. I think see this preserves would have been better, but I guess I pulled out the wrong one. I didn't really measure, I just looked at the grid on my paper how big a section I wanted. It's about four centimeters or one and a half inch, but you can make it as big as you want. Of course, you can do a portrait uh, shaped card as well. I made landscape card. I might end up printing a teacher from Crafting Desert Diva that's uh, Batman <laughs> and put him on top and then maybe add a sentiment. But for now, I'm going to leave it as a Halloween card Although I do not send out Halloween cards. <laughs> Halloween is not big in the Netherlands, I'm sorry. But um, I didn't like how they did not blend. So I, I pulled out eggplant from Versa Magic and I just put that on top and all over the blueprint sketch as well. I thought the blueprint sketch was a bit more purply, but maybe that's the distress ink and not the oxides. I might be. Confusing, it's early. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for my stars, I'm using the Kuretake White Ink. <laughs> and you can see it's early because I start here by mixing it really well because it separates. And then I use the stuff that's in the lid. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> early. And um, I also pulled out the distress spray stain in brush pewter which is silvery just for some shine that you know it, it catches the light when you move the card and i like that the brush pewter you have to shake it really well and i'm heat setting the white ink just to be sure but it lifts my ink and ink do masking moon <laughs> mask moon so be careful when you spray this one or splatter you can of course also just do white or just do silver or don't do anything at all but i like the starry night sky so you know i made one so for my bats i have this contact paper or vinyl and flocking powder and the vinyl is like a suede or a velvet but it's sticky and I also prepared some cardstock with double-sided tape on both sides so one side to stick it down and one side to take the flocking powder and I'm going to use the two smallest pads and I never die cut them and um, well I never die cut the vinyl or use those bats. So <laughs> let's hope it goes well. I'm going to put them in the length way. And you can see there's already a bit of paint gone from the die that's stuck to the packaging. That's because they're cheap. <laughs> but the die cut, I mean, I put it through a few times just to be sure. I don't know if they really needed it. But now I have furry pets. And I'm going to do the same with some cardstock. And this is actually really dark brown. You can do white or black as well. Of course, I, I couldn't find my black, <laughs> to be really honest. And uh, I thought white, if you have bold spots with your flocking powder, you will see it mm, easier or better. And um, we don't want that, of course. And so I zoomed in a little bit. The Flocking powder is, um, I, I'm not really sure what it is. It's like really little strands of some kind of, <laughs> yeah, 
look, it feels hairy and um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it says on the package. Let me see. Yeah, if only I could find the package. <laughs> but I, I bought this for a different project. It didn't come in in time. But it sticks and then you just rub it in. It's kind of like you would do with glitter, but this is fibrous and it kind of sticks together in the pot as one. See, <laughs> it, it, well, yeah, I don't know. I will call them fibers. I think that I like that word. So you try to put it back in your pot like you do with embossing powder. <laughs> and then I rubbed it in to the adhesive just to be sure. And there they are. They're really nice and soft and velvety and matte. And you can die cut them from glitter. Black glitter paper would also be really cool, I think. But I wanted to use this. And I like the <laughs> final, <laughs> velvety final. And um, the mask. Of the moon, I'm going to peel off and try to reuse it next time, but you know, it gets less sticky every time, so <laughs> it's not an endless use of masks. I guess um, this is the negative. I die cut it from a little bit of a bigger piece of Inca Dinka Doo paper, so even if I go outside the lines, I won't mess up my sky, but I will mess up my moon. <laughs> It was a little bit too juicy. I probably should have used the finger dauber and I didn't because I thought I would manage. Hmm. This is where I realized that my camera stopped filming. Um, but all I did is peel off the backing from the bats and stuck them on the card. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.